Good morning. morning. Mass incarceration starts in pre-K. I want to tell you a story about my daughter, Jacqueline. She's 13. She goes to a school somewhere in Maryland. Um, One day she was at lunch and there was a uh, piece of salad on the floor. And she, um, she and another boy saw it. The police officer in the school walked over and said, who dropped the salad on the floor? The kids said, we don't know, it's just salad. He said, who dropped the salad on the floor? The kids said, we don't know. My daughter said, I'll pick it up. Another boy said, I'll help her. It's just a piece of salad. He said, no, somebody's going to take responsibility for the piece of salad on the floor. The kid said, we will pick it up. He said, if someone doesn't take responsibility, I'm going to the cameras. One of the administrators came over and said, yes, we're going to go to the cameras and see who did that. This is a middle school. So mass incarceration is happening in our schools every day. Kids are being arrested. You may have seen the video just yesterday of an arrest made in a South Carolina high school. What we have seen in the criminal justice system, we are seeing in our schools. There's two things we need to be concerned about with regard to the school to prison pipeline, with regard to the conversation we're going to have today. One is that kids are being directly fed into the system from their schools, even as young as five. 70% of the kids who are arrested in this country are African American and Latino. What we do know is, and we've seen videos of five-year-olds throwing temper tantrums and being arrested in school. The data is not that great because schools haven't really kept up with how many children are leaving in handcuffs out of their doors. Things we also need to be concerned about is not just the direct feeder, but is the fact that all of the policies and practices that we have come up with are being used in schools. Three strikes and you're out. Broken windows theories, risk assessment, a risk assessment for a five-year-old. Five, a baby who's going to change over time. Children are not given second chances any longer because we forgot that they were children. The implications of these policies are serious because children also don't have the same rights as adults. So when it gets caught on camera in a school, it can be used against them very quickly. When that child sits down in the principal's office and the principal says, what did you do? They don't say, you have the right to remain silent because the cop is standing there at the door. And so I want us to remember throughout the day in this conversation that we're going to have, the implications for our babies. The fact that we are having conversations about policies that are going to trickle down to the classroom. Don't forget the babies. Thank you.